to my channel this is ranji raj and you are streaming on the study beast so in my previous video i discussed regarding an introduction to the soft computing which is a successor of the uh, artificial intelligence and also the biological neural networks like how the brain or the neurons works so in this video i'll uh, discuss a model called as the mcculloch pit model that is the mcp model in soft computing so let's get started what is this mcp model is so uh, basically this mcculloch model is a soft computing model and ai based model so these two concepts are there in this for solving this particular problem so it is uh, all based on uncertainty not an uncertainty uncertainty to a very uh, little extent but moreover probabilistic uh, values are there like true or false yes no like that. next uh, basis of this origin like mcculloch model was initially proposed by two scientists uh, whose name was warren mcculloch who was a neurophysicist and a cybernetics and walter pitts who was a logician and neuroscience expert so these two scientists proposed this model called as the mcculloch pitt model based from their uh, last name that is mcculloch and pitt and they in the year 1943 published a paper which uh, says that or uh, like abstract was there like a logical calculus of ideas immanent in nervous activity or nervous activity so this you may find a little complicated so in terms of like uh, both biology and both ai both technology are incorporated into this sentence so it is more over called as a bio mathematical jargon so you might not understand what this actually meant by so with the help of a practical example i'll demonstrate how all these things works or how the mcculloch pit model actually works or what is this main functionality or proposing this particular model by these two great scientists so uh, here is a small representation or a small diagram in fact of the mcculloch pit model this is not the mathematical model but a like constructive model like uh, it has a set of this you can see in the center that is the mcp that is the mcculloch pit and uh, it may have some particular input links which it may receive and the mcp model uh, that is the mcp which you can see here is split into three different sections called as the input function like it will take the summation that is from the ni and ni is uh, comprised of the ai into wij that is some component some uh, attributes and its weights and we have the activation function which integrates over some particular interval uh, which is not a definite but an indefinite integral and we have an output function which is ai uh, and it may after processing all these things Uh, it may produce the outputs and the output is given as ai is equal to g of i into n means all the components uh, which this mcp has it comprises it and it will produce this particular output so this is a small introduction or like a small constructive diagram you can see in fact for understanding the mcculloch pit model but this is also very complex i will simplify even more by taking an example so let us move to that particular example so in that example they are saying that we have to pick an item from the menu like some application or some uh, animation is there so in that we have given a tray and from the tray we have listed out some particular menus or like some particular options are there then we have to pick those item to see and there is a object called as the bird and that bird will eat it now we cannot say what the bird will eat like you can imagine this as a robotic bird not the human bird so uh, this bird will obviously like the normal bird or the living bird will eat something like worms or fruits something like that so those options will be there uh, i will list it out and the bird has to eat it now we have to incorporate this into the robotic agent and notice how the mcp that is the neuron determining the decision means it will it has to take the particular decision or the proper appropriate decision that the bird will eat only that fruit and not any other thing so for
for that we'll lay out certain parameters certain examples or like uh, certain thresholds will be there uh, to simulate this particular example so let's get started So the menu consists of blueberry, then uh, it has a hockey stick, then it may have like uh, you can say a rod and then it may have like a grass. Now for in this example we take two parameters like it is a fruit the bird will eat the blueberry so blueberry is a fruit so this fruit will be round in shape so that parameter is number one so round and this blueberry will have some color like blue or purple or violet so we'll take it as uh, like blue so these two parameters are laid and so the threshold will be one plus one so for every particular item it detects or particular characteristic it de detects we will give like a 1 to this and 1 to this so the threshold that will be laying out is 2 and now we will construct the model so uh, the model which you see now uh, will be like this and we have to design one table and we have to design one uh, like for working functionality we have to design one table so for that I have uh, this yeah so here we have the outputs and here we have the inputs so this is a stage like we have the threshold T here and CM that is the combined and the AM that is the actual so here we will feed the inputs to this and here from we get the outputs okay so next we have uh, next uh, so here is the parameters that is number one and number two and we have a list of like some flags is there or some machine or processing engine is there so that basically takes some is greater than or equal to it has one am here so this gives the output to am and it will check or it will query for this this is step one and it has two outputs that is yes output like if it is yes then the output will glow as one or if it is no then the output will glow as zero and this is the primary level next we have the threshold that is t and t we take as some value and we have these inputs that is the combined output like for number one that is the shape and number two that is the color or the texture and we get the output to this that is the cm yeah so uh, let's get started yeah, so this is the MCP that is the Maculock pit model. So for understanding purpose, I will demonstrate in this manner. So first of all, uh, we'll not take the blueberry, we'll take the hockey stick. So hockey stick is like a stick. So it has not like, it is not a round shape. So it is not like in blue color. So obviously the inputs that you get from this. So this works in this manner. So it is a bottom up approach. So when only those two, uh, like these two parameters will glow, then only uh, it will read the uh, output and will display whether or to decide whether the bird has to eat that particular item or not. So first of all, uh, we have these two parameters like uh, we have this one and two. So this color goes in this manner. So first of all we have is we have the AM so combined so first CM goes here so first of all uh, when we take the hockey stick it is not in round shape so we 
it will give us zero here and for two it is not in blue color so it will give zero when we add this we get a zero and we know the combined threshold here it is two and when this moves up the chain then uh, is zero that is the output we got is greater than or equal to two when we question this then we'll get the answer as wrong and so when we feed the inputs to this this will not like uh, that is the wrong decisions to be taken so that case goes false and similarly for rod and grass the same working takes place now when it comes to blueberry we rub it out this can be two so when it comes to blueberry then we see whether it is like in a round shape yes it is in a round shape and its color is blue yes 1 plus 1 is 2 2 was up here uh, so it will carry along with this threshold is 2 it will compare 2 greater than or equal to true this condition satisfies and so input will go in this that is 1 will go here 1 will go here so this updates to 2 this t is 2 and this am is true so the output we get is a yes output so one will display here so this turns out to be one so if it is one only then uh, the bird can take the decisions whether to eat 